Joe on the Butcher. I am hanging out here at home. I am in quarantine and I am having a Zoom interview with one of my favorite dudes on the planet. It has been a while. You may know him. If you don't, you definitely should. He is an actor. He is a comedian. He is a metalhead and a complete psychopath. My man, <laughs> Eric Andre. Thank what is you. Up? Thanks. Dude. Good to see you. Good What's to see you, man. I, I see you trapped at home, but you got some nice flowers behind you. Uh, I got a orchid behind me. Yeah. I would expect Eric Andre's house to kind of look like the set of the Eric Andre show, but it, it's no, too you know what? I'm a total <laughs> suburban nerd. I do have a lot of plans, but I also have a lot of booze. I've been self medicating. Oh, wow. That is like a hundred <laughs> bottles of liquor. <laughs> well, I mean, speaking of all the substance abuse, the new special lies <laughs> everything out now on Netflix. Congratulations, man. You are getting you. that Netflix money. Yeah, cha ching. <laughs> How did this partnership with Netflix pop off? Uh uh, you know, the guy that runs the stand up, uh, the comedy department over there, Robbie Pra, he has always been my advocate since um, I was like a wee little 23 year old jitterbug doing the um, Just for Last Comedy Festival in Montreal, which he used to run. Mm -hmm. And he's just always been my ally and has invested in me since day one. And he would kept bugging my reps like when's Eric gonna put out a special when's Eric gonna put out a special and then it was finally time and um they've been awesome they gave me like carte blanche to say whatever the fuck I wanted so it's perfect. and you do and you yeah, do and I do and I do and I more. love the spontaneity <laughs> of it it's everything I would Thank expect you, from Eric Andre and Thank more you. And this is my first screener ever. I watched it before it came out. Nice. I felt like hot shit. I'm not famous. I don't get screeners. And I was like, there is no way this is going to work. And I hit play and it popped up and I got mad excited. A little poop came out and I was like, oh my God. I hit pause. I ran outside. I, I packed up a big fat bowl of Banana Mac OG Kush. Got myself prepped for Eric Andre. And I hit play. And it was one of the most funny and amazing stand-ups i have ever seen not only on netflix but ever so amazing. congratulations i'm actually that. growing og kush at my house i planted a weed plant hey just yeah, one plant or you got a couple well, i'm not gonna blow I, got a couple. I, got, I got a couple <laughs> the underground seller that's the bad. nsa listening you I mean, with your cop? <laughs> we got narcs listening i'm sure uh, i don't want to give any spoilers but it is one of the best opening sketches I have ever seen and it involved oh, yeah let's just say it involves the police yeah, I ru ruin it spoil it who cares <laughs> it's eric andre as a cop complete yeah. insanity for the first opening 60 seconds to two minutes <laughs> of the special and i heard that that almost got cut out of the special is that true no no no, no. that <laughs> there was another part I, that I almost got cut. during an interview okay and like i was saying Netflix wanted to cut it. Uh -huh. Netflix was just like, should we lead with not even that bit? The cops joke, the joke I make about the intro song of the show cops. Yes. And they were like questioning like, oh, is this a completely inappropriate time? But it, I was like, no, this is the most appropriate time to put up that joke. And then two seconds after we had that conversation, like a day later, cops got canceled for its 33, 33rd season. And I was like, told you. Biggest, like, biggest opportunity, best moment to, uh, to, to put that joke out first. So uh, just wanted to set the record because I got in trouble at I, I understand. Like, let, we let never it, told you to cut it, man. We're no, cool. You're making us look like, cool. bad. Cool. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Let no, it be all peace and love. I, uh, I got in trouble at work. <laughs> right? I bet that's been – I mean, has it been a long time? I'm sure you get in trouble a hell of a lot. Uh, no, I usually don't get in too much, like, trouble, like, at, at, like, Adult Swim or Netflix or anything like that. I usually get in trouble, like, while I'm filming. Yes, with the public. Who doesn't know? With that? the public, yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, right a lot of people cool. may not know, and what's cool is I was telling you before the interview that a lot of people hit me up saying that they didn't know Eric Andre was a metalhead until they heard, you've been on Liquid Metal a couple years ago, whatever. Yeah. But uh, they did not know that you were a metalhead until they heard you on Liquid Metal. But I feel like you've always made it clear. You've always made that metal connection, whether it was on the Eric Andre show, you had Exhumed play oh, and yeah, Trash yeah, Talk yeah, on the show. Yeah, yeah. On I grew up listening to that stuff. You know what I mean? I, I, I hope people can tell it's an infu influence in my comedy. I'm constantly screaming you know cookie monster metal say like changed my life when i was i listened to cryptopsy origin 
Tillinger escape plan. Um, yeah, as long as the drummer sounded like they had the fastest two feet. Machine gun. Yeah, yeah, machine gun feet. <laughs> cookie monster lyrics like i'm in you know what i mean i mean your your comedy show is the equivalent of going to a metal show you're screaming you're sweating you're literally out there you're on the audience in people's faces one of the most energetic comedy shows i've ever seen in my life and i grew up in the kinnison era so i yes man i know what psychopaths and you pull it off brilliantly do you feel like metal has inspired your act in the way that you go about your comedy Oh, 100% metal and punk and hardcore. I love Bad Brains growing up. and um, But also like sludge metal, like Crowbar and Neurosis and all shit like that. Like uh, And like diarrhea metal, like mm. Anal Cunt, Gorbion Necropsy. Anything that sounded like it was recorded with one Radio Shack mic in the middle of their garage. <laughs> Like, I, I, yeah, that's like, hopefully, all noise music, like John Zorn and the Boredoms. I love Mike Patton. I, lo I just saw Mr. Bungle live. They played their first show in 30 years, and they played their first demo from high school, which is all metal. Uh, and they had Dave Lombardo on drums from Slayer, and they had uh, Scott Ian on guitar. Um, so, like, not just metal, but every subgenre of metal I, I grew up on. I love, I love, I love Agoraphobic Nosebleed. That's kind of my, that's probably my favorite band. And that's not even a real drummer. I found that out later. That blew Drum my machine. mind. Yep. Sometimes they'll play live with a real drummer, but... Um, but sometimes uh, they'll also play it with the drum machine, which is even crazier. Really? Nice. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, they're, they're, I tried to get them on Eric Andre's show, and there was some issue. It was like... I, 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 they were. I they think really, the guy couldn't get a shift off of work or yeah, something. Yeah, something like that. But they uh, huge for something nosebleed band. That's awesome. Well, I want let's highlight a band that you were talking about uh, right when we got started. Meshuga. You said you've been listening yeah. a bunch to New Millennium Sinai Christ. Have you ever seen Meshuga live? I have at Ozfest when I was like fifteen. That drummer is the best drummer in the world. He writes all the songs and I believe all the lyrics. So this drummer. Hockey. Yes, that yes. guy is a machine. And as brutal as his beats are, and as brutal as the music is, he looks so relaxed while he's playing that yep, shit. His like, eyes closed. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's playing just like an old jazz tune. And it's just, it, that guy's incredible. Well, let's that break some, band is incredible. Yeah, let's break some shit to this one with Eric Andre. This is Meshuggah, New Millennium, Cyanide Christ, the new special, Legalize Everything, out now on Netflix. I'll be back with Eric in minutes.